Ask Reddit by Scott Moo. When one person in a marriage is sick, which person should sleep in the guest room? Whoever isn't sick. The bedroom is already contaminated. It's also a dick move to kick the sick person out of the more comfortable sleeping arrangement. The sick person should choose whatever they are more comfortable with. If they don't care, sick person stays in the main bedroom because it's already contaminated. This was going to be my vote. Depending on the layout of the house, if you have kids, etc, the guest room might have more benefits than the main bedroom. The one who is not sick. Extend some kindness to the ailing so. Also the room is contaminated. The unsick person. The sick person should be shown every courtesy. I just accept my fate. If my wife has it, my kids have it and they're gonna touch everything. No amount of Flintstone vitamins are gonna save me from them. We've been married for 28 years and we've always slept together regardless of sickness. Simply never occurred to either of us to separate. Is it common for couples to sleep apart when one is sick? We only do if one of us struggles to sleep. So if my husband has a cold and is snoring I'll choose to sleep elsewhere haha. <laughs> or if I'm coughing non-stop I'll sleep in another place to avoid keeping him up. It's not about contagion. You've got a guest room. Lucky. I care. Significant is currently sick and I am riding the couch. The non-sick person. Because that's the kind thing to do. The sick person should get the more comfortable relaxing location and the non-sick person should take care of them. Do most people really sleep separate from their partner due to illness? I'm shocked almost every comment considers that seemingly normal. Wife and I have been together over 25 years and never done that once. We did talk about doing as much if only one of us tested positive for COVID, but neither of us have gotten it to this day, and we've never considered doing so for any other illness. We figure we're going to get exposed regardless, as we're going to take care of the other, so why bother for most things? We both have comorbidities that could make COVID high risk but never thought of anything else as bad enough to go out of our way to avoid transmitting between each other. For us, it's about noise. Why should both people not sleep because one is coughing or congested? I'm a light sleeper who needs earplugs in non-sick times. When I'm sick I prefer the guest room because all of our stuff is in the master bedroom bathroom and I don't want to be disturbed with people having to go in and out to get things they need. Agreed with this. Not necessarily because I don't want to be disturbed, but in a case where we're sick enough to need to separate, basically covered, it's counterproductive to have a healthy person entering the sick room regularly to get their clothes, toothbrush, whatever. Plus the healthy person is more likely to need specific clothing, etc., whereas the sick person just needs the most basic of things, comfy clothes, some entertainment, and necessary toiletries. I've quarantined in the guest room twice when I had covered and it worked just fine for my husband to drop things off to the sick room as needed instead of actively coming into the sick room or requiring me to pass him whatever he needs. The person who doesn't need the CPAP with the extremely heavy backup battery, at least that's how it works at my house. When one of us is sick we still sleep next to each other. By the time symptoms appear. It's too damn late anyways. It honestly never occurred to me that people would sleep separately while sick to try to avoid getting sick. What's the point? You already live together and smooch and whatnot. I just assumed it'd be about noise from coughing, snoring etc or tossing around. Usually for us the healthy person sleeps in the guest room, as the sick person is already feeling terrible and needs their familiar bed. Only time the sick person uses the guest room is when its mental health and a change of bed helps to interrupt the sleep problems, or someone's manic and sleeping at weird hours. Neither, because realistically, if the non-sick person isn't sick yet, they will be. Guest room. Look at fucking money bags over here. Before our current house, 
we called a holiday in down the street from us the guest room. I asked my wife and she said if I'm sick, then we're both sick. So I guess that means neither, unless I'm sick, then she's gonna sleep away from me. No guest room here I'm afraid. We just sleep in the normal bed and cough each other awake. I would really like a spare bedroom. But the couch is the only alternative. IDKTBHBC my boyfriend and I continue to sleep in the same bed, even with covered we both had it at different times with no issue for us. Yep I've never heard of sleeping in separate rooms when sick. No one in our families ever did that, even during covid. Seemed pointless since usually people are contagious before they know they're sick. Kind of depends on the layout of your house and how you use your space. If the master bedroom is out of the way, and generally just used for sleeping, by all means, let the sick person have the good room to recover. If not, best to move the sick person out of the way, and let the person doing the job of two people while taking care of a sick person suffer less disruption. There could also be other concerns like noise, light, etc that might make one room more ideal for recuperation. This is exactly my thinking. I won't stay in the bedroom with a bathroom attached when the non-sick partner needs the bathroom to get ready for work in the morning while I stay homesick. It doesn't make sense. Our bed is the comfiest in the house. The person who is sick has more need of the best night's sleep than the healthy person. So the sick person gets our bed and the healthy one gets the guest room. So much luxury to have a guest room. Yeah, it's the blow up mattress on the living room floor for me lol the not sick one by the back doors and the computer desk, well he got better and I got sinus infection from grass pollen that leaked through the doors so I got sick and scolded. I once quarantined in the closet that was actually okay nice and big for air mattress until the vent broke and airflow sucked. Ugh joys of a small apartment again and a broken couch. Bed's not much better I kinda like the feel of the air mattress. The healthily person, since the main bedroom already has been contaminated. Guest room. Haha. <laughs> we just stay in the same bed and both get sick. We don't have a guest room and the living room is not a comfortable enough option. Sick person gets the guest room. This way, normal life like getting ready for work can happen in the main bedroom. You guys have a guest room. What guest room?